In a lot of apps, playing videos is a pretty common requirement. Maybe we need to play a video in our onboarding screen or display some content created by users. The video player package lets us easily play videos from our local assets, network, and photo library. And with the Chewy package, we're able to easily implement a customizable video playback UI that includes a whole host of additional features. Let's get into it. In our pub spec, add the video player and Chewy packages. I've already added a video called island.mp4 to my assets folder for testing, so I'll include the assets directory. You should download and add your own video too for testing. For fetching videos from a network on iOS, we have to add NS app transport security and allow arbitrary loads to our info.plist. Note that you may need to add more permissions based on your use case. For Android, add internet permission to the main androidmanifest.xml. We want to create a reusable widget called Video Player View that handles loading videos from our assets, network, or photo library. This means we need to know the path or URL of the video and which data source type we're fetching from. We have two state variables, Video Player Controller and Chewy Controller. In an init state, assign Video Player Controller based on the data source type. Content URI is Android only. We'll include it here anyway to avoid errors. Then set the value of Chewy Controller, passing in the Video Player Controller and aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Chewy has an abundance of customizations you can see by taking a look at all the different parameters and what they do. We'll use the default values for now. Remember to dispose of both the Video Player Controller and Chewy Controller to avoid memory leaks. The build method returns a column with the data source type as a text widget, and a Chewy player wrapped in aspect ratio to control the size. Let's add an asset video player view and a network video player view to our video player screen. The network URL I used is in the description. If you run into any issues, be sure to test on a physical device as simulators and emulators are not always accurate. It's working great, and we even have a nice playback UI thanks to Chewy. Now for selecting a video from a user's photo library, we need to add the image picker package. iOS requires a tiny bit of permission setup. In our info.plist, add the NS photo library usage description key with a string value explaining why access is needed. Android doesn't require any setup. Select video as a stateful widget with a nullable file state variable. If the file is not null, then display the video player view with the file path and data source type of file. The text button uses image picker to select a video file and then updates the state accordingly. Let's tap the button and select a video. And it loads. As you can see, our aspect ratio is a little messed up. Our videos don't all have 16 by 9 aspect ratios. To change the aspect ratio to the size of the video, it's not as simple as only setting aspect ratio to Chewy controller aspect ratio or video player controller value aspect ratio. This is because the aspect ratio returned by the controller isn't set until the video loads. We have to rebuild our video player view widget once the video player controller loads. So instead of using Chewy controllers auto initialize, we need to manually initialize the video player controller and call set state to rebuild the widget. Then make sure the video player controller is initialized before displaying the Chewy player. Otherwise we get a late initialization error. Change the aspect ratio to the video player's aspect ratio. And now if we reload the app and take a look at all of our videos, we can see the aspect ratios are dynamic. And that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And be sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.